Hello and welcome to Intro to C. Today is the homework episode for chapter one. Homework is given at the end of every chapter and it is completely optional. I will not mark it. It is for your personal learning and practice so you get used to writing code and reading code, understanding the syntax, the grammar, the understanding how pro logic works. So let's get started. So homework we sometimes consists of um, exercises and um, questions and code exercises, like if the questions about it. So the first one I'm going to give you is what is wrong with this little program? So on th there's some things wrong on three of these lines. So what is wrong on the on three of the lines? You can pause this so you can if you want to to figure this out. But I want you to figure this out without putting this into Visual Studio or your compiler or whatever. Just want you to read it and figure it out. What is wrong with this? Now, there's, on some lines, there are two things wrong. So it's not just here. So you've got to figure it out. What's wrong? Now, this will compile perfectly fine. But there's something, some, something wrong in the code. Now, what is wrong? And now I want you to be a calculator. So you need to figure out what the value of x is from this kind of calculation here. So I'll give you a clue. Look at the arithmetic video for the order operations bit, and you may be able to figure it out. OK? So there are the code examples. Now some questions. So the questions are, are what are the basic integer types? What is the largest value that an 8-bit unsigned integer can hold? What is the use of floating point variable? Um, how do you declare a long int? Now, some of these you may have to research. You may have to figure it out. Now, if you research it and find the answer, good. But I want you to understand it. So, figure this out. Okay? So, that is your homework. Um, you've got as, as long as you want to complete it. There is no, this is not like homework at school. And it is for your learning to get understand how to program on your own. So thank you for watching and have fun programming.